We'd like to think our drugs are designed for exact purposes, but they're not as targeted as we think. We only discover where in our bodies they work when we take them. It turns out Ventolin inhalers, a treatment for asthma, can also prevent premature labor. And arsenic, a notorious poison, is making a comeback as a treatment for leukemia. Even the fastest selling drug of all time is not used for what it was designed. It started life as UK 92480, one of millions of compounds in the stores at the drug company Pfizer. They were looking for a new drug for angina, something that would relax blood vessels around the heart. After screening hundreds of thousands of compounds, they ended up with UK 92480. But its trials in humans were a letdown. It was about to be consigned back to the stores when the trial volunteers started coming back and reporting an unusual side effect. Lots of erections. Add the drug and the relaxations get larger, but it's traced upside down. By making a crude mock-up of the human sexual apparatus, senior scientist Chris Wayman found an ingenious way to test this anecdotal evidence. These are actually penile blood vessels uh, that we have in a tissue bath. Think of this as the brain. This is the brain and the spinal cord. When you become aroused, your brain switches on. We can mimic this by switching on the equivalent of the central nervous system and the brain. It sends electricity down to the tissue baths and across the tissues. And when we pass an electric current across these small pieces of penile tissue, they relax. And ultimately, that's what happens during penile erection. Relaxed penile blood vessels mean more blood flow to the penis, and so an erection. What Chris did was take penile blood vessels from impotent men, vessels that didn't respond when he flicked the brain switch, and then added UK 92480 to the tissue bath. What was most amazing about this study was that we saw a restoration of the erectile response. It's very rare in any tissue preparation to convert dysfunctional to normal function. And so now we were really onto something that can only be described as special. At the time, there was no oral treatment for erectile dysfunction. No one even really knew what caused the problem. But suddenly, Pfizer had a potential treatment on their hands. When this data was shared with the experts in the field, the urologists, they were astounded. Uh, I remember a, a meeting in America at the Urological Association where the room was packed when this data was released because no one had seen anything like this before. UK 92480 was renamed Viagra. And within weeks of going on sale, tens of thousands of prescriptions were being written every day. You would never have been able to predict that this was going to have beneficial effects on millions and millions of men throughout the world. A little bit of science having effect on self-esteem, anxiety, depression levels, and ultimately creating enhanced relationships. Viagra is now one of the most prescribed drugs in the world. Six tablets are dispensed somewhere every second.